Hello, I'm Matt James Guy, and today we're going to figure out what is making a noise on my 2013 BMW 328i xDrive F30 series car. I've done a lot of videos where I've had vibrations coming from the wheels, tried different Nokian tires. I'll link to them below, but uh, I fixed them when I straightened the rims. And then one day, I took a drive out to the lake, which is about four hours of twisty mountain roads, three hours of twisty mountain roads, and uh, suddenly I had this wild noise coming from the car, and I kind of thought, it kind of sounds like a tire noise, so I thought it was the tires. I thought I cooked them. These are all weather tires, so I don't know how much spirited driving they can handle. Brought it back to Cal Tire. Cal Tire looked at them and went, nothing wrong with the tires. They rotated them. They said they couldn't make any meaningful difference. So I took the car. They didn't charge me. Uh, I also had people, mechanic friends, sitting in the back seat because it sounds like it's coming from the back of the car. So left side is right side. They were all, uh, I don't know, hard to tell. So anyway, a couple weeks ago I'm driving along. Uh, I'll just go back to the video I made when I was driving the car. Okay, I don't know if you can hear this. This noise has been driving me wild and I think it's the tires, but maybe not. If I turn hard left, the noise gets a little worse. And if I turn hard right, the noise goes away. So here we go. We got some corners coming up. I don't know if you can hear the noise, but okay, left turn. Yeah, still there. Now we got a good, uh, good right turn coming up here. And, and it gets way quieter when I turn right. Left, right, left, just ever so slightly, ever so slightly, but it's making a difference. So I think, I think we're on to something. Uh, it seems like when you turn hard to the left, the noise gets louder. When you turn hard to the right, the noise gets quieter. So that makes me think that when I turn left and it gets louder left, that means the right rear wheel bearing is loaded and making more noise. So what I did is I bought this, a wheel bearing. Looks all nice. FCP Euro, about 90 bucks US. Uh, I also bought this. I bought a nut for the axle because you just never know. It recommended it on their website. So this is not an easy wheel bearing to change, I don't think. You gotta press it out. It, it kind of fits on the hub. It's not just a cartridge style with, with bolts. I'm hoping I have the tools to be able to beat this thing apart um, over that side. Uh, but, you know, I've already got it on, on a ramp. Just have to pull the wheel off, support the car. And let's try this. Before I do anything here, I'm gonna spray this down with penetrant. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna try and get this nut off. Because if I take everything else apart and I can't get this nut off, I'm screwed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this nut off. I've got a big three quarter ratchet. I'm gonna try 30 millimeters, which is real close to one and three sixteenths of an inch. May as well try, right? Okay, take a look at that nut. I've been trying. It is a giant, huge, massive ball of rust. There is no way I'm going to get that off with just my hand tools here. You can see the rust in there. So guess what? I'm giving up. This is a full give up. <laughs> so what's going to happen now is I'm going to put this back together. And I'm going to make sure that the other wheel bearing feels okay. You can see when I took this apart in time lapse, I was wiggling it, turning it, it feels okay, but that doesn't mean it's not the problem. If the other side feels okay, I think I have confidence I'll make it to the coast. It's a four hour drive. You know, it's been making this noise for like six, eight months. Hasn't gotten any worse. I'll just drive it. Maybe I'll book it in somewhere. I just don't, I don't feel like it, folks. I need a car wizard or the equivalent. So I'll just put this back together. Check the other side, let it down. That'll be it for today. Okay, it's been like a week and a half, and guess what? Betty is fixed.
wheel bearing replaced. Uh, I ended up having to come back to the coast for work to go to the office. And I, I booked it in at Norlang Auto. There's a division of Norlang Auto in Langley called Eurofix. Said, you know what, just, just fix it, fix my car. And they did, and they saw the ball of rust on the nut that I showed you, and they said, ooh, we're going to quote an axle, a hub, all sorts of things. And I was like, fine, just fix it. And guess what? They fixed it, and they were able to save the axle. They needed a new hub. Uh, it was a lot of labor, a lot of messing around. It cost me $1,700, but you know what? Eddie is fixed. So quiet on the highway, so lovely. I was right about it being the right rear wheel bearing, uh, just the headlight left to do. And unfortunately, their BMW diagnostic guy just happened to be on vacation and they didn't really trust anyone else to look at it. So that's fine. The headlight issue still there. But, you know, I got there. My car is clean, detailed, all for free. Well, free, included in the price. And uh, I really like this car again. Like, I really, really like it. So there's there's the dilemma. I was ready to, you know, trade this thing in, get rid of it already because it's getting long in the tooth a little bit for a German car for sure. But now it's like, oh, it's so fun to drive. And the other thing is there was a clunk coming from the back end. Every time, right rear corner, every time I went over a bump, it would kind of clunk in the corner. Uh, I thought, you know, rear strut maybe starting to go. That's gone now, which doesn't make any sense because when I had it up on the jacks, when I wiggled the back wheel, it was tight. Even though the wheel bearing was starting to go and making noise, it was tight. So why is the clunk fixed in the rear right corner? I don't know. Literally no idea. Anyway, uh, yeah, fixed. So anyway, if you found this useful, even just mildly entertaining, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, Instagram, that underscore, underscore, James, underscore, underscore, guy. And I will see you next time.